I've come across a giant hogweed growing right next to some common hogweed. So I thought I'd take a little video of the common hogweed and then flip it round so you guys could see the giant hogweed for those that have never seen, never seen it. So this is the common hogweed. If you note that the leaves, now they're a lot less jagged than the, than the giant hogweed and they're more rounded. Now this is about six foot, just a little bit taller than me. Now you can see that the stem is mainly green, a little bit of a purple hue at places. Well, um, here's another common hogweed right here. These, at this time of year, people are harvesting this bit and deep frying them in batter and having them with sweet chilli sauce. Now, if I take a step back and you flip the camera around, you'll be able to see the giant hogweed. Now oh, here we go, here's the giant hogweed. It's twice the size of myself. Each leaf is easily, the ones at the bottom, easily a size of a wheel. And the ones at the top are a size of a dinner plate. The flowers are absolutely humongous. They're just about to go into seed at the top there. And you can see the purple paint splattering it's looking quite impressive. It's a habitat for snails, quite a few snails I see on this plant. Um, as I go down, I mean, I couldn't even put my hand, wouldn't fit around the bottom of that, no chance. There we are, I think it's, really beautiful plant actually and as it's not by any children or where children would be playing I certainly won't be reporting this but look at that the flowers the bees love them and all other insects love them but there we are I thought I'd just take a quick little video I'm very impressed with this plant.